What's up, y'all? Chris. Here to give some predictions for UFC 166. Pretty solid card on paper. Nothing special. Pretty much just um, being sold off the main event alone. But the rest of the card looks pretty good. It's got to be better than last week's um, UFC Fight Night, at least, for what it's worth. Anyways, as far as uh, non-main event bouts, you know, I'm still up in the air on Hector Lombard and Nate Marquardt. Lombard going down to 170 for the first time. Um, I still don't know what to expect from that fight, in all honesty. It's one of those coin flip fights. I give Marquardt a slight, slight edge, because if Lombard don't end it early, Marquardt should win. But I really don't know, man. That's, that's a tough fight to call. Uh, Gabriel Gonzaga and Sean Jordan. Give me Sean Jordan by stoppage, by TKO, once Gabe Gonzaga gasses out. Gilbert Melendez, Diego Sanchez. I favor Gil. As I imagine most people do, except for maybe old school Ultimate Fighter fans who still aren't familiar with Gilbert Melendez. But uh, even though this looks like it should be a one-sided fight based on the resumes and how they've looked of late, I actually think it's going to be a pretty competitive bout, potential fight of the night. I think Diego can, you know, hold his own on the ground and on the feet. I kind of think this fight might be more entertaining on the ground and the scrambles than it would be on the feet. Favorite deal by decision, but I think it should be a competitive bout. Co-main event, Daniel Cormier taking on Roy Nelson. Cormier. Um, Nelson looked terrible in his last fight against Stipe Miocic. Cormier didn't look all that great against Mir, but we've seen uh, the potential he has. Roy won't be able to get him down. Cormier's a lot faster. Um, Cormier can land some big shots, but Roy's got a hell of a chin. Roy can land some big shots as well, but uh, I don't see it happening too much. May not be as entertaining as some of Roy Nelson's fights. But give me Cormier by decision. And, of course, main event. UFC heavyweight champion Cain Velasquez defending his title against former champ Junior Dos Santos in a rubber match. Obviously, um, this fight goes one of two ways, as it has two times before. Either JDS wins by knockout, or Cain wins by decision, most likely. Obviously, uh, Cain dominated the last fight, but even though he dominated it, he was the one getting more tired during the last couple of rounds, even though he put an absolute beating on JDS up to that point. So I'm wondering if Kane can't hurt Dos Santos early like he did in the first fight, because he hurt him early, beat the hell out of him that first round, and it took JDS forever to recover. He never fully recovered. If Kane can't catch him with the big punch and hurt him like that early in the fight, can he control JDS still for five rounds with his wrestling? And, you know, just grappling. Obviously, we'll probably find out. Um, as for Dos Santos, as we saw in the first fight, he just has to catch uh, Kane one good time. And he has the power to put him out of there. Of course, both guys were supposed to hurt for the first fight. Um, I'm going to favor Kane by decision because... Not only can he be a proficient on the feet, as we saw in the second fight, he can also control things on the ground, as we saw as well. Whereas Dos Santos has to land that big punch. It's pretty much his only avenue to win. Um, although that's pretty been a pretty successful recipe for him thus far in his career. But give me Kane by decision. I think it will be more competitive than both the two prior bouts. But ultimately, I see Velasquez getting it done. Unless JDS knocks him out. Anyways, that's my thoughts on the card. Um, probably back on Saturday night afterwards to give my post-fight thoughts. But until then, one of your guys' thoughts. Um, mostly, you know, maybe uh, if you're at all interested in Lombard versus Marquardt, you see winning that one. Anything else on the card. But, of course, main event. Who do you got? Kane or JDS? And how do you see him getting it done? Links to Twitter and Facebook stuff. And then Pinterest, as always. Till next time, I'm out.